Good afternoon and welcome to Hudson Field's beautiful downtown Hart Vermont Hayes and Union High School. Lady Cats in action for the second day in a row now hosting the Oxbow Olympians. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080, www.hctv.us is where we stream and archive. Liz on camera. Uh, sponsors for today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPAs. Good luck, girls, is their message. Lady Cats still looking to notch their first win of the season. Lost a tough one to Massisquoi here yesterday, and now they host the Oxbow Olympians. And my apologies to the Olympians. I did not get a chance to look up their record. Going to have to try and find that out at some point. Find somebody in a purple shirt during halftime or something and ask them. And uh, anyways, the uh, Lady Cats lost a couple on the road to start against uh, Enosburg and Fairfax. Lost at home yesterday to Massisquoi. So looking like uh, hopefully this second day in a row... They might notch their first win of the season. Beautiful day for soccer. Just a great day. Boys played here uh, last week or earlier this week. I can't remember. They all run together. It was a warm day, but it was kind of breezy. Yesterday was freezing, frigid, with a lot of wind. Today is just about as perfect as you can get. Opening tip about to come. And there is Lily. Castle's made of sand. Clearing that out. Our defense played yeoman's work yesterday as Masiskoi really controlled the ball down in our end for a lot of the time. Gave up three goals, but uh, they stopped a lot more. It could, have been the, it could have been far, far worse than what it was. So they played well. Let's hope the offense can get on track today. Score some goals for us. Oxbow, as Missiscoy was yesterday, has a deep bench. Our bench not quite as deep. So Coach Harry Bissett relying on girls to uh, play a lot throughout the game. But they're young. No such thing as fatigue. Oxbow with the corner kick. on the far side. Off the side of the net, we'll have a Hazen goal kick. Kick up, back in. Cleared back. Take it, Sarah, take it, the other thing, too, I'll point out with our defense is we've got some young'uns back there. A couple of uh, sophomores in Lily Castle and uh, Bethany Conway. And then we've got, uh, I believe she's a senior, Natalie Jeffrey back there as well. So some youth, but the girls are playing well. I pointed out yesterday, they're, they're far, far above where they were last year at this time. Shot on goal! Save to the side. Allie Gabary makes the diving push. Keeps the ball from going in the goal. Uh, Lily and Beth both playing very well despite their limited experience. It's only going to get better throughout this year and as they go forward. Two more years with them back there. We should be stellar for a while. Up front, of course, we got uh, Macy Moeller, Tessa Luther, Madison Bartlett, back, all going loose. Back, Kick it to the side, girls. There we go. Turning up the side, Tessa Luther playing against uh, Lillian Degouche, a freshman for the Olympians. If the names and numbers all match up with this roster. If I happen to mess up, I'm playing the cards that I got here. Hazen, goal kick. Side of the field down, they're gonna have a handball. Leah White called for the hand. More like an elbow. 
Lily Castle jets it up. Taken back. Aspen Longmore. Oh, I remember her from last year. I fell in love with that name, Aspen. I think you were here for that game, weren't you, Liz? Here's Madison Bartlett coming up the near side. Cross. Moeller's there waiting for the pass. Beautiful pass right in the middle. Shot wide. Hazen with the corner kick. And we've talked about this. It's deceiving being up on the roof, Liz. When you get down here to this corner, you notice how they're almost playing uphill. Real serious dip back here. Moeller, center. Looking to turn. Alexis, go, Alexis. Alexis Christensen on the far side. Trying to get it back. Maverick, Murphy loses it. Back in the middle of the field. Stanchu. Tessa trying to get that one through. Moeller was there, but so was the Oxbow defender. Lily Castle throw in. Stanchu trying to get it across. Christensen trap. Pass up. Bartlett there. Oxbow defense clears it out. Far side, Oxbow's got a step. There's a shot wide. 34-34 left to go in the first half. Clock running down. No score yet. A few shots on goal for each team. Gone wide. Ali Gabri made a nice diving save. Ball it's around. Stanchi tried to clear out. Longmore over. Back here's Aspen Longmore. Loses that one though. Shot on. Save. That'll give Oxbow the corner kick. And 24 hours ago, I wouldn't have said this, but I'm going to take off my coat. It's chilly. Now here in the sun, it's nice. We'll see what happens in a couple hours when the sun goes down next second half. It might be a little different story. Oxbow corner kick. Ball's a little short. Gonna play it out. Tessa Luther looking to clear. Can't do it. Tessa trying to bring it up the near side. White throw. Emma Degouche with the throw in for the Olympians. Looks up ahead, Lily Castle traps it down. Ball goes back, I don't know if it's gonna go out, nope. Oxbow. Nice defensive play by Lily Castle there to keep that one, at least get that one back. Ball played up. Oxbow defense playing at midfield. Emma Parkin over on the far side, coming back over here to Emma Degouche. See if Hazen can capitalize. Tessa. Working against Leah White. Bartlett. You're going the wrong way, ladies. Lily Castle, center of the field up. Maverick, boots one up and over. Moeller gets the turn. Couple players to beat, throws it in the center. Bartlett couldn't quite catch it. White throw. Go, 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 go. 
Nice hustle by Emma Goose to get up there. Goes down though. Tessa Luther on the near side, looking once again to make a move. Gets it over to Stanchu. Stanchu working against Rachel Spear. Shot wide. Maverick, nice pass over to Tessa. Back to Maverick. Maverick, a little bit of give and go here. Let her too far on that one, though. Throw in. Degouche. Turn, center. Red throw. Then we're watching a girls' playoff game down in Oxbow several years ago and it started out as rain, turned to sleet, turned to snow. Lost on penalty kicks that day. That was during the Lizzie Brown area era. There we go, gonna get a shot on, save. Point blank. Point blank shot right there. Allie got down low, had the feed on it all the way. And I remember in that playoff game, we were down a good part of the game, and then uh, Lizzie scored right at the end to tie it up. Played in overtime, stayed tied, and then went to PKs. Kicked back up. Emma Bador playing here on the near side. A freshman for your Lady Cats. <laughs> Leah White subbing out, trying to get a number on this girl here. When she turns around to take the throw, I'll know. 13 is Kylie Gregoropoulos, I'm gonna go with. One of the assistant coaches pronounced it for me real quick over there. I'm going to go with Kylie G. Turn. Moeller looking up ahead. Bartlett trying to get that step. She's got Emma Parkin over there. Emma Bedore. Bartlett, she fears no one. Couldn't get it quite up through. Had Macy going. Macy does a spin. Tessa, if she can get to it. Moeller puts a shot on wide. Both Macy and Tessa. Up on offense for us. And I'll tell you, Liz, this is <laughs> far, even though we haven't scored yet, this is a lot far more uh, offense than we saw than in yesterday's game, so. Let's hope, get on the board here. Ride the defense. Goal kick, Oxbow. Oxbow on the far side. Oxbow player goes down. They're going to give Oxbow the free kick. Shot on. Gabarie. Ball drops. Turns around. Makes the save. Yesterday's game, Allie was punting with the wind at her back a couple times. They were really soaring on her. That one soars even without the wind. Get 
Bartlett. Moeller got a step on the defender. Tries to make the turn. Tessa lined up there. Passes over to get Stanchu. Stanchu up, looking in the middle. Bartlett couldn't quite get there. Emma Bedore plays that one ahead. Nobody there. Cleared out by the Goosh. Beth Conway gives chase back. That's going to skip out of bounds. Throw in Kylie G. As Oxbow subs in a couple more players. And that that's not going to bode well when you can sub players in and out like that with the amount of subs that they have. Keep bringing in fresh bodies, fresh legs. Moeller, turn. Goes to the side, red throw. Tessa drops it in. Moeller. Taps it back to Stanchu. Turn, that was Aspen, Longmore, working against Emma Bador. Kylie G, working against Beth. say defense playing tough for us back there. Ellen Hart looking to get a leg on it. Rachel Spear in there as well. Ball goes cross field. Giving chase is Natalie Mitchell. Center turn high. High shot by Aspen Longmore. Twenty-four minutes left to go in the first half. Both teams sort of trading opportunities here. Neither one able to really get a. We've seen a, the Olympians get a couple of decent, solid shots on Alley that Alley stopped. We've had a couple go wide. Ball back, Alley. Boots it off the side. Be a white throw. Kylie G throw in. Christensen looking to get it out. Moeller center field. Wants to drop it over to Bartlett. Bartlett trying to get it ahead to Moeller. Three Olympians right there. Here's Bartlett though. Gets it by. Working against Emma Parkin. Madison working hard. Goes down. Back up. Alexis Christensen. Picks it up. Center. Can't quite get there. It was Hadley Allen. Beth looking up the side, keeps it in. Gets by Bador. Hart, shot on wide. Allie Gabri. Kicked back in by Ariana Bowles. Oxbow. Picking away here. Hart gets a turn. Shot wide. A lot of opportunities here for the Olympians. Not able to capitalize. Avery going to take the goal kick. Maverick, Murphy, Bartlett. Oh, man. 
Almost got it to Macy on that one. Nice defense, though. I think that was Emma Park, and they got the foot on it to knock it down. Lily Castle. As it go off the end, we'll have an Oxbow corner kick. The most exciting play in all of soccer, in my humble opinion, is the corner kick. Oxbow corner. Gabri balls down on the side of the nets. Alley trying, Alley trying to get out there and grab it. About halfway through the first half, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your dial, www.hctv.us. There's a shot on from way outside. Gabri makes a grab on that one. Sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure anything and everything that you need insurance on. Also, the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. I've waxed poetic about their home fries and their sausage. Their bacon is awesome as well. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPAs. I use them for me as well, my financial dealings, what limited amount that I do, but they've always provided me with excellent service. Liz on camera, you're watching your Hazen Union Lady Cats. Second game, second day in a row here from beautiful Hudson Fields. Hardwick, Vermont, he's in Union High School. I don't think there's a better place in the world to watch a soccer game than right here. Good job, Natalie. Oh, We've seen the Olympians get, I, I would say, the more quality shots off on goal, but Allie's played tough. Our defense has played tough. We've gotten up here on offense a few times. I don't know if we've really tested McKenna Simmons yet, the goalie for Oxbow, sophomore goalie. For Oxbow. Seen some shots go wide, but Allie's had a couple coming at her kind of point blank. And we are taking Liz what is known now as a mask break. And uh, this is where I would usually fill time and read the sponsors, but I just read the sponsors. So, <laughs> uh, Maybe I'll just be quiet and we'll take in the sights and the sounds of a beautiful fall afternoon here at Hudson Fields Hazen Union High School, part of Vermont. I believe that will conclude our mask break, a new term for this year, <laughs> soccer season. The other thing I want to point out, uh, I pointed this out uh, during the boys game. We had members of the varsity girls that were uh, running balls on the sidelines, uh, making sure that everybody was uh, keeping up and there were corner kicks and throw-ins and stuff like that. Today we've got the varsity boys out here running the sidelines for the girls. So. Nice to see the show of support by each team towards the other. Oxbow moves up in quickly. Hey, 
Hazen looking to clear up. Create some offense here. Get it going. Maverick Murphy. Here's Madison Bartlett. Looking over. Ball taken away. Now we've got it back. Stole it back. Moeller trying to get the turn. Moves ahead. She's got Tessa on the far side. This Oxford defense, though, has been able to knock every pass like that down so far. Seem to be right in perfect position. Quick feet as well. It was McKenna Smith bringing the ball up for the Olympians. Alley. Out of bounds, white throw. Throw in Emma Degouche. Chipped ahead, Aspen, Longmore. And that is Ellen Hart in there as well. Throw in's gonna be by McKenna Smith. I don't think she meant to throw it quite that hard and that far. It'll be a Hazen goal kick. Hazen player subbing out at the time. Gonna retry this kick one more time. Lily Castle to the outside looking taken down by Oxbow. Oxbow on the far side. This is where it gets hard to see numbers to name, but and they get over here. We're gonna have an Oxbow corner kick. 16-16 and ticking. First half. No score. Oxbow up. Turn. Allie Gabri comes out and makes the play. Ellen Hart getting ready to tee off on that one. Center of the field goes by. There's Moeller. Oxbow has shown great team speed, though, in getting back on these. Just when it looks like we've got ahead, is it like this now? There's four of them there. Moeller gets by, though. Can she turn? Get the shot on goal. Save. McKenna Simmons, Macy Moeller showing some nice moves to get up there and free herself up to get that shot. Put it right on goal. Our best opportunity of the game. But Simmons right there to make the play. Beth Conway playing tough defense. Or as I like to say, Beth, I hear you calling, but I can't come home right now. Maddie Fredella on the far side over there. Oxbow with a plethora of, go of corner kicks in this half so far. Looks like a bit of a design play here. Booted out with authority. That had to be Natalie Jeffrey. When I see blonde hair and a left foot that kicks that, that it's Natalie. Got 
Picking up white corner once again. White corner, middle of the field, headed down. Ali Gabari. Looking to get it on the far side over to Luther. Emma Parkin thought better of that. Oh. Natalie Jeffrey taking down the Oxwell player with a bit of a shot over there. We need to see if we're going to see a yellow card on this. <laughs> kind of threw the hip in there, but referee standing. I guess they're going to call it incidental. Far side of the field. Looking at it like that. Referee was right there, so. But uh, I just hope that Oxwell player is okay. She went down in a heat. Came back up, though. Center field. Ariana Bowles moves that one in. Here's Hazen. Looking to go up. Over here on the near side. Emma DeGoosh right here to play it against Moeller. Moeller gets it by her. DeGoosh takes a little elbow from Macy. Parkin right there. Macy. Can't get the shot by though, Parkin. Here's Alexis Christensen over to Stanchu. Stanchu in the middle. She was looking, I think, for Maverick. Maverick not in the flight pattern on that one. Or no, it wasn't Maverick. It was uh, Natalie Mitchett she was looking for. Maverick is in the flight pattern. Just not on the radar right now. Gabari, save on the one hop. Shots long, easy roller. Gabari, punt. Maverick couldn't get the foot trap on that one. Back, Beth Conway up, center of the field. Maverick traps that one nicely. Turn, Moeller. Lily Castle calling that one out. Boots it over to the side. Olympians keep it in though. Bailey Christensen trying to advance it up for us now. Gets it up, brought right back though. Swing and a miss. Christensen. Maverick. Nice pass over Stanchu. Gonna try and catch up to it, can't. Christensen tries to get that one by. If she'd have connected on that, the ball would still be rolling.
Hart playing on the far side. Knocks it out of bound. Hazen goal kick. Tessa on the far side. Out of bounds, white throw. Rolls up the far side over there. Hazen will have the free kick. After the Oxbow fell, 8-20. Left to go in the first half, no score. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Oxbow Olympians. Gotta wonder if, with the way this game is going, if one goal is maybe gonna win it. Somebody can get in there. Sarah Collier comes out onto the field. I believe that's uh, Natalie going off. <laughs> Natalie Jeffrey takes a breather on the far side. White throw. Played out. That was Christensen getting the foot on it. Oxbow still in control. Beth Conway gives chase here on the near side. Gets the ball past the Oxbow player. If she can get it up here to the side. Really nobody there for it, though, other than uh, an Oxbow player. That was Emma DeGouche. Slow roller. Easy save for Ali Gabri. Actually, they're gonna call some sort of foul. We're gonna have a free kick. Look down at the sheet for a minute to get a name and I missed something. Alexis Christensen up ahead. Natalie Mitchell trying to give Chase Simmons. Rare touch of the ball for her in this first half. Lily Castle kicks it off the end. She had, I think that was Lillian DeGouche going shoulder to shoulder with her. We'll have a white corner kick. Gabri makes a save between two Olympians. High punt. Oxwell player plays it back nicely. Allie's gonna have to make another save here off the punt. I don't see that too often, a shot on goal off of a punt. Collier looking for Christensen. Christensen drops it back to Collier. Oxwell player is there to capitalize. Player open there in the middle. That was Darcy O'Connell. Knocked down again. There's Moeller. Tessa trying to get a foot on it over there. Keep it in, booted out with authority by the Olympians defense. <laughs> 
Four minutes left to go. And a uh, Hazen player goes down over there. And sort of a uh, slow moving first half. Bit of a plotting pace. Red throw. The Spitfire, Madison Bartlett. To back, Moeller, turn, defensive player there. save. <laughs> Midfield. Bartlett on the far side. White throw. I was going to say, the ball kind of slipped out of her hands, and then she kicked it. I don't think you could throw it into yourself, can you? And I think we're going to have a free kick from here for Hazen. Bartlett, Mitch, Moeller, back. Jeffrey there, playing up. Here's Bartlett trying to make something happen. Gets it over middle, Moeller, up the middle. Oxbow defense clears it. A couple of offensive players up here. Our defense like, trying to jump back now. One minute left to go in the half. Drop pass in. White throw. Got a red throw, 30 seconds left. Gonna have to hurry to get a shot off or play keep away from Oxbow for another 20 seconds here. Shot wide. Goal kick. Under 10 seconds now in the half. This is going to about be it. And that will end the first half with a 0 0 score here between your Hazen Union Lady Cats and the Oxbow Olympians. Uh, both teams getting off some decent shots. Some nice saves by Ali Gabbery. McKenna Simmons had to make one save back here on a nice shot by uh, Macy Moeller as well. See what happens here in the second half. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080. Streaming, stre streaming live and worldwide at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera, our sponsors today. Call the word insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Breakfast all day. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192. Your local CPA, good luck girls, is their message. We'll see if there's some luck on their side. Here, when we resume the second half, I think I'm going to take a little mask break myself, Liz. Be back at the start of the second half. And we're back. Second half action about to get underway here at beautiful Hudson Fields at Hazen Union High School. 
Hardwick, Vermont. Sun's starting to set down low over Buffalo Mountain now. It's getting a little chillier. I put my coat back on. Your Hazen Union Lady Cats hosting the Oxbow Olympians today. Score 0 0 right now. It's sort of a, um, I don't know, if you want to call it a defensive battle there in the beginning. For most of the uh, first half, uh, both defenses playing very well. Allie's made some great saves for us. Uh, McKenna Simmons for the Olympians has been a little quieter on her end. She did make one uh, really nice save off of a Macy Moeller shot. Lady Cats looking for their first win of the season. Come on with a record of 0-3. I looked it up at halftime. The Olympians stand at 1-2. and two. I believe, if I remember right, they beat Richford, had lost to Masiskoy, who beat us here yesterday, and then lost to Enosburg, who we lost to last week up in Enosburg. So... Pretty evenly matched uh, teams out here so far. They played a good game. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. The Harding Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPA. Good luck, girls, is their slogan. And uh, we'll see if a little bit of luck and some skill and... And nothing else we can conjure up here. Get us on the scoreboard. It's one of those games I mentioned in the first half. you got to wonder if one goal is going to win it. Liz on camera. Always fun to have the second half where the players swap. Uh, we swap ends. They swap fields. We see fresh faces over here on the near side. Throw in, Olympians. Meredith Young throwing in. You notice I've, I've mentioned a lot of Olympians' names in this broadcast. It's because their bench over there, they got a deep, deep bench. I'd say they've got about triple the amount of girls that we have, and they've been able to bring in fresh legs and, and fresh waves of people. Once again, our girls hosted Masisco here yesterday. It was a tough physical game. Ended up losing three zip. But Masiskoi was a, a very tough uh, athletic team. We played tough, though. But, uh, as we are today, too, the defense has been stellar back here between uh, Ali Gavary and the defense, keeping us, keeping us in this one. And Ali once again coming out to make the save on that loose bouncing ball right there in the goal mouth. High punt, midfield. That's up and over. If Moeller can get in there and get on that, she's got a foot, she's got a step. Christensen, back to Moeller. Nice give and go. Moeller, looking to make the turn. Center. Ooh. Maverick was right there. Couldn't quite get the foot on it. Stancho gives chase. Bartlett couldn't quite get the foot on it that she wanted. Back up here to midfield once again. Nice offensive sequence, though, for the Lady Cats. They can keep that up. Get a couple shots on. Anything can happen. Give the defense a rest. Keep some offensive pressure up here on Oxbow. Christensen and Meredith Young. Throw in Sarah Collier. Collier once again looking for Moeller. Moeller gets the turn. Ariana Bowles got by her, trapped down. That's what we've seen uh, the Oxbow defense do all game. Just be right in the right position, get the right foot on it. Rare to see one get by him. We've had to work pretty hard for the offense that we've had. Moeller, center. Maverick was there ready for it, but intercepted once again. Oxwell player stepped in front. Stepped in front of the pass. Out of bounds. Meredith Young couldn't keep that one in. Sarah Collier. Toss up Young there to grab it. Play up, goes by. We've got an Oxbow player back here. Shot 
wide. Knocked out anyway. Actually, the line that was on it might have gone just inside the post if Allie hadn't got there. 36 minutes left to go in the match now. Gabarie save. Once again, I will give props to the Hazen Union Wildcat boys for running the sidelines for their Lady Cats today, as the Lady Cats did for their game earlier. Hard to tell with the mask on, but I believe it's Ethan Shoplin on this side. On the far side, it looks like the one and only C.J. Hall. Take it, take it, take it. Ball by Gabri. Out to make the boot. Tessa. Nice block out, shot on, wide. Get it there, get it there. Collier over here on the near side. Working against Maddie Fredella. Push down. Free kick. Play up, Bowles keeps it in. I love you, Karen. <laughs> Fredella inside, Jeffrey. Good job, good job, good job. Lefty Jeffrey. Go, go, go. Just squirts it by. Christensen, sideline, trapped down Bowles. Ed Moeller on the run. Natalie steps in front, there we go, nice play. Moeller back against Parkin. White throw. Oxbow player out in front, see if the defense can close. We get back. Beth Conway trying to get a foot. Get off, save, Gabri. Allie likes to kind of make us clench a little bit here with those <laughs> bouncers there. A little bit of a juggling act at time back there. Oxbow once again, moving up. Shot wide. The other Oxbow player could have caught up with that. I believe that is Maddie Fredella. Couple more steps. Allie. Goal kick, right back to Fredella. Traps it down, Collier. That's Macy Moliar, I'm sorry. Christensen up, looking for Bartlett. Players working hard here. Natalie, Jeffrey, and uh, 
You get the other number here. I think it's Lillian Degouche. Just going shoulder to shoulder. Trading paint, as I like to say. Bowles keeps it in for Oxbow. Ali makes a save. Alexis Christensen, nice chip up over. Muller can catch up, Con nice control. Two Oxford players on her, here's Christensen. Bowles there to knock it down. Once again, they seem to know exactly where our passes are directed. Get in there and get the feet on them and knock them away. A stout defense. Stanchu. Maverick. Murphy. Lily Castle with the free kick. Moeller over to Christensen. Christensen back to Moeller from Bowles right there. Here's Moeller on the side. Shot on, safe, bouncer out, Simmons. Nobody there to capitalize on the rebound. McKenna Simmons, a sophomore goalie for the Olympians. Ball's going to roll out of bounds. White throw. Maverick gets it up ahead. Tessa Luther has to go in the middle. Moeller dropped pass to Christensen. Christian wanted to get it back to Macy. Not there. Fredella going against Sarah Collier. Over there in the middle. Block down. Nice play. Beth Conway, nice turn to clear that one back out. Maverick. Looking for a wingman. Lily Castle over here now. Macy Moeller keep this one in. Got some room, looks over. Sees Bartlett, skips just in front of her. Maverick, trying to make a move. Be hungry, Red, be hungry. Get us here, get us here. Good job. Call your chip out. Fredella with the throw in. Stanchi loses that one to Longmore. Shot 
shot on. Alley makes the save as Lillian DeGoose tried to crash a little bit. Bowles against Moeller. Moeller gets it by her. Trying to get the turn. Christensen. Shot on. Save Simmons. I believe that was Emma Parkin who came over to play defense on. Macy Moeller still managed to get the pass in. Decent shot. Nice save. Here's Oxbow. Uh-oh. Player out in front. Lily trying to close in. Nice defense once again. Fidella was lined up. Nice closing by Lily Castle, the sophomore. Lily Castle's made of sand. Ouch, that's going to hurt. Christensen sends it. Parkin sends it. Lily Castle. And I'll tell you, with as much defense as our defense has played in the last two games, game and a half, girls have got to be getting winded. I know they're young, but still. Christensen up ahead, looking for Bartlett. Bartlett, nice pass. Moeller there. Parkin comes out. Bailey Christensen on the throw in. Bailey and uh, Natalie Mitchell, two eighth graders playing varsity this year. Or hence our bench would be even smaller. Let's play Natalie Jeffrey trying to make the advance up. Oxbow there. Turn, Leah White's. Over on the far side. <laughs> Throw in white, trap down, heart. It's back out. Macy had some feel, had some green in front of her. Moeller makes the play. Hardy Allen, Hart Hadley Allen playing her tough. Here's Macy on the far side. Got a step on the goose. Shot on Simmons. Save. Simmons punts. Going the wrong way. There we go. Trap down. Rachel Spear up ahead. Beth Conway back on defense. She's going to get called for the hip. Lucky call just outside of the box, or else he would have had a PK here. This is just about as good as one, though. That's high. Splits the uprights. Come on, come on, come on. 
Hart going to get a shot wide. 21-12 left to go in the match. And there's my rush nod right there. As fine an album as you will ever find. The Rush 2112. I had it on an 8 track. Played it till it broke. I think I went through two vinyl copies of it. Corner kick. Matty Fredella. Ooh, goes by. And in. Went through the hands of Ali Gabri. Went drop by, dropped down there on the ground. I'm trying to get a number. I can see her, but I can't see her number. Still can't see a number. Four? Can you see a four, Liz? If it's number four, we're going to give it to McKenna Smith. Her hair is right over her number. But we think it's four. Yes, number four, McKenna Smith, a sophomore for the Olympians. Puts them up one zip on the misplay off the corner. Uh, Allie tried to go up and make the grab, went through her hands. Ball's probably starting to get a little slick out there. It's chilled down a little bit since the sun's come down. Anyway, dropped down behind her. Defense couldn't quite clear it out. Smith right there to pounce on it. It's what you see in games like this sometimes, a little fluky thing like that. Next thing you know, you got a goal, and I've stated this a couple times this game. I don't I think one goal could possibly win it. We're taking a mask break with 20 minutes and 39 seconds left to go in the game, coming off the Olympian score. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. Our sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure everything and anything that you need insurance on and probably things that you never even thought you needed insurance for. He can, he's got a policy for, I guarantee it. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And uh, while the breakfast is excellent, and I've been talking a lot about, you know, all the things that goes along with breakfast, I usually go in and I get the meatloaf and the mashed potato, and it's stellar. Stellar. And my personal accountants, Mem Stewart and Associates, 472-6192, your local CPA. It's not like I quite have my, my millions that they've got to keep track of, but my, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm in the high four digits, so. But they do a great job at uh, <laughs> keeping track of things down there having a good time here he's in union lady cats once again coming in with a record of 0 and 3 looking for their first win of the season olympians coming in with a record of one and two and uh lady cats have lost some tough ones they uh, went on the road for their first two games up to enosburg and fairfax and lost here yesterday to missiscoy once again this is the second day second game in a row the missiscoy game was supposed to be on wednesday got postponed to thursday because of the weather which I'm glad, because Wednesday it was cold, windy, and rainy. Yesterday it was just cold and windy. Um, today's been a fantastic day for soccer. Just beautiful. Would, would have liked to have gotten a few shots of the foliage this year, but boy, it was spectacular but brief. And right now we are full on into stick season. Unless you like looking at green popple leaves. And we've even had a switch side of the Hayes and Varsity boys players who are running the sidelines today. Yes, it is the illustrious C.J. Hall on this side. And I think it's the mini shopper, Ethan Choplin on the far side, running the lines. I like it when our varsity teams support each other that way. The girls ran the lines for the boys the other day. Nice play, Bailey Christensen up. Stanchu trying to control, trying to get by Bowles. Bowles turn, out of bounds. We're going to have a red throw right in front of us here. 20 minutes left in the game. Halfway through the second half now. Olympians just got a goal to put them up one zip. High. Anybody's ball right there. Christensen with the throw. Hart, turn, give and go. Nice give and go. Fredella couldn't catch up with it. Th 
throw in. Bailey Christensen. Bowles, big foot up. Christensen knocks it down for Della right there on the inside. Hart wants to get a turn, get a shot over there in the middle. Ball comes back outside. Christensen on the near sideline. Throw in. Hart turns back out. Christensen right there. Fredella keeps it in in the corner. Knocked out by Lily Castle. No, it stayed in. Go to the side, girls. Go to the side. We don't want them teeing off here in the middle of us. The shot goes wide and high. Gabbery, goal kick. Come on, Red. Got to score here. Got to score. Bartlett over there. Macy's got a step on the defense. Turn. She's going to have to shoot hard. Simmons. Save. She had a step, but she had three defenders right on her. I don't think she could quite get the angle and quite the foot on it that she wanted the time she had continued to get by the defense. Bowles, high kick. Here comes Oxbow. Christensen, high. Oxbow trying to keep it in. Aspen, Longmore. And I'm saying Longmore, not Lawnmore. L-O-N-G-M-O-O-R-E. One of my favorite names ever, Aspen. I love that name. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> Tip the hat to her folks. And she's a senior, so this will be the last time we get to see her. Oxbow, corner kick. This is where they got their last goal. Playing it up. Allie. Balls on it. Go Red, take it. Christensen up. Gets by Bador. Action all over on the far side. Bador trying to clear up. Here's Jeffrey. Looking to get that left foot on it. She does. Nice trap down though, Parkin. She's been awesome on defense for the Olympians today. Turn, Fredella. Offsides. Aspen Longmore called on the offsides. Boy, it wasn't by much, but the goal, the, the referee's right on line down here. Being down there from that angle, I'm sure he saw it differently than we did. It was close. Maverick loses it, goes down. She's back up. Right there in the middle, beautiful. Hayes in defense, playing hard as they have the last couple of games. Throw in. Oh, 
I think the foul possibly called on Darcy O'Connell there. Give Hazen the free kick. Lily Castle. Tessa Luther here over on our side of the field now. See what she can do. Layla Ellsworth playing some tough D right there. Oxbow now with a free kick. 13.52 left to go in the game. Clock ticking. Olympians up one zip. Off the end, we're going to have a corner kick. Spirited conversation from the Lady Cat faithful right in front of us. Uh. Hadley Allen going to take the corner. A freshman for the Olympians. Gabri down to make the save. Not going to take any more chances on these corners. Grab it as quick as she can. Short punt. Olympians moving up. Hart couldn't quite get the turn she wanted. Knocked out. Ouch. That hurts. That, that even, yeah. I don't blame her. Hadley Allen. You could just hear that ball when it hit her. Catching her breath. Christensen has that one go off the side of her foot. Funny roll. Hart turning. Lily Castle knocks it off the end line. Once again, our defense seeing a lot of action back at our end of the field. Our defense has played a lot of defense yesterday and today. Emma Parkin going to move up to take the corner. Speaking of defense, Emma's been a rock back there for the Olympians defense. That'll go off the top. It'll be a Hazen goal kick. Gabri going to take the goal kick. 10.54 left. Plenty of time, but I think in one goal for us now is just going to tie it. Beth Conway. Beth on the throw in. Mitchell. We are advancing the ball up. Now let's get it in the middle and get a shot. Moeller. Little Lord of the Dance move over there. Shot from way outside. Nice play. <laughs> nice play on the header by Darcy O'Connell. <laughs> 
Tessa going to take the throw. Stanchu. Tessa back. Stanchu. Looks over. Mavericks in the middle. Moeller couldn't quite catch up to it. Nice play. Natalie Jeffrey against Ellen Hart. Hart with the throw. Looks inside. Ball got underneath her foot. That was Taylor Bean. Man, how many different names have I said for Oxbow today? Like I said, they, they are a deep squad. Bean. Moves up. Hart. Wants to turn. Gets it into the inside. Bean has it go underneath her foot again. Or else that might have been scary. Luther. Back. Christensen up. Forward, forward, ladies, forward. Bartlett working against Layla Ellsworth. Still in. You ladies have got to start talking. Moeller takes a look, sends it. Over on the far side, I believe that is Natalie Mitchell trying to catch up with it. Seven forty five and ticking. Bartlett. She can get by Parkin, get a shot on, maybe Parkin's. Maddie is absolutely fearless. Parkins got like a foot on her, size-wise. Don't let them push you around like that, lady. You gotta get across there. Oxbow clears it out. Beth Conway boots it out. We'll have a white throw. A little more action here in the second half. First half was, like I say, almost sort of plotted along. It's been. Some nice opportunities on both ends here for both teams. And the one goal that was scored, you know, came off a corner. You could say it was kind of fluky. Allie had it slip through her hands. The defense couldn't quite, wasn't nobody there to kick it out. And it took the Oxwell player a couple of steps to catch up to it. So but, uh, that's what it takes sometimes in a game. Girl did make a nice kick from the corner to put it right in the center for Allie to, to attempt to make the save. So we'll, get, we'll give it equal parts skill and luck there. Throw in Ellsworth. Looks for Hart. Go, 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 go. Tessa, she's on side. Stayed on side. Parkin is just really something to watch back here on defense. I mean, great control, great foot movement, knows where to be. Hart goes down, playing against Jeffrey, draws the call. Home Faithful doesn't like it, but I think nine times out of ten you're going to get that call. Ball high. Hazen, goal kick. Oh, 
Hart. She's waiting to seize that opportunity all game long. She's been in there. Callie Sullivan, there's another new name for Oxbow in now. I mean, this late in the game and I'm calling new names. If I remember right, when the boys came in here, we, our boys played their boys here the other day, and the Oxbow boys team had just one sub. Small squad, girls. Three twenty-five left to go in the match. It's going to take some major aggressiveness here by your Lady Cats to advance this ball up and get a quality shot off for a goal. Throw in Ellsworth. Nice trap down turn. Rodella back up. Parkin moving against Bartlett. Stanchu blocked down. Oxbow just content to keep it up in our end now. Can't score if we can't shoot. Gonna have a free kick. Jeffrey. Parkin right there. Macy can get it by her. She does, chips it up. Bartlett. Here's Macy again. Parkin though right over there. Oxwell cleared out. Stanchu in position. Nice trap down by Gabriella. Can't catch up to it though. Beth Conway back into the Oxbow zone. At least got it near end of the field momentarily. Bailey up to Tessa, near side. Ellsworth moves in front. Nice move to turn it in. Jeffrey back out. Over here on the near side, Ellsworth. Gonna have the throw. One minute left to play in the match. Christensen knocks it ahead. Oxbow knocks it back. Natalie has that one go off the top for how there's Ellen Hart, center. We end up having an offside, so I think when all was said and done there, but 30 seconds, we're gonna have to hurry. Hazen taking a lot of time here. Ball up center of the field. Clock ticking down. And your Lady Cats will drop their record to 0-4. Still looking for that first win as they lose the tough one. And I hate to call myself Nostradamus, but I said one goal could possibly win this game, and that's exactly what happened. Oxbow scored the lone goal to win it. One zip against the Your Hazen Union Lady Cats. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080. Also streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. I want to thank our sponsors one more time. Caldwood Insurance, 472-5517. Service and protection since 1979. The Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Breakfast all day. And M. Stewart and Associates, 472-6192. Your local CPAs. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.